So you're thinking about moving to Southern California, but you're moving from a state or a neighborhood that's a little sleepy, a little quiet, and you're worried that Southern California might be a bit too lively and noisy for you. Well, come and check out San Juan Capistrano. Unbelievable. It's got a slight country vibe. It's got history. It's got character. A lot of Orange County neighborhoods are missing this vibe. San Juan Capistrano has it in spades. You've got to check out this video if you're looking to move to Southern California. We're almost about as far east in Orange County as you can go, and it's been around since the 18th century, San Juan Capistrano. And guess what? You can tell. A lot of Orange County neighborhoods are kind of new, new buildings, modern, which is fine. But if you like culture and a bit of history like I do, you're going to absolutely love San Juan Capistrano. You're close to Dana Point, San Clemente. Laguna Beach is about 10 miles away. And the 55 plus communities of Rancho Mission Viejo, Mission Viejo and Laguna Woods are not that far away. And because of that, if you ask me, there's slightly an older vibe to San Juan Capistrano, but I absolutely love that. It's peaceful, the walkability is unbelievable. You've got the parks, you've got the trails, you're minutes to the beach depending on where you live. It really goes under the radar if you ask me. And today I'm gonna to talk about the neighborhood the schools. It's great for retirees, but is it great for raising a family? So I'm going to talk about that. The crime. Is there homelessness? What's the nightlife like? I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. I'm a local realtor. And if you're looking to make a move in the next 10 days or 10 months, give me a call. I'm always happy to help. I made the move from London back in 2008. I know what it's like to make a scary move across states or even across continents. Hope to hear from you. The first thing I want to mention about this town is Yes, it's old. Yes, it's historic, but it has a lot of trendy wine bars, restaurants, if that's what you're looking for. Yes, it has the cool, quirky restaurants and bars as well. But if you want a little bit of fancy, you want a bit of upscale, it has that too. Other parts of Orange County don't necessarily have awesome restaurants or awesome bars. San Juan Capistrano does. They are delicious. They are trendy. And I'm a big fan. Also, if you're looking for equestrian homes or just larger homes, you're coming from Texas or Florida, you're used to 3,000 square foot homes, but LA County or Orange County as a whole, that will break the bank. Not in San Juan Capistrano. I'm gonna show you some huge homes later on in this video, and you might be surprised by how affordable they are. Also, they come with large lots here. In LA County, Orange County, you might be getting five, six, seven thousand 7,000 square foot lots. They're not big. In San Juan Capistrano, you want a quarter of an acre, you want half an acre and it doesn't break the bank? Come check it out, you'll be surprised. This place offers you that. You're about 25 minutes from Irvine, a lot of jobs in Irvine, so maybe you work there. Huntington Beach, you're about 35 to 40 minutes. Same with Newport if you want a little bit more hustle and bustle. But the freeways are right here. The five freeway basically takes you anywhere in uh, Southern California. You wanna go to Mexico, you wanna go up north. Five is right here, so accessibility is pretty good, and it's just a lot less busy than neighboring Laguna Beach, for example, where in the weekends and in the summers can be crazy, full of tourists. San Juan Capistrano is a hidden secret. Maybe we should keep it that way. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in Orange County. If that's what you're looking for, hope to see you in my next video. All right, I know you're probably really interested what the homes are like, where does your money go? Let's go take a look at some homes, shall we? Three, four, five bedrooms, one million, all the way up to three or four million. Show you what you can get for your money. See if you're interested. I love to take small wins in life. And guess what? The street parking is also free. Yes, there's areas you have to pay, but a lot of the street parking is free. You go up into LA County, for example, there's meters everywhere. They're always charging you. It's so nice here. Just pull your car up. You don't even have to worry about paying. Love that. They have a great library. And what I really like about walking around San Juan Capistrano, no matter where you are, you've got these beautiful views of the hills or mountains. It's pretty relaxing. Um, big plus. All right, let's talk real estate. If you're looking for a one or two bed condo, you need about $400,000 to $500,000. HOA is about $300 a month. Three bed condo, you need 750,000 really minimum, all the way up to over a million. If you're looking for a two bed house, you can get on the market $650,000. Uh, 750, obviously a better budget. Now, if you're looking for a three bed home, 
you really need minimum 725,000, 800 to be honest is a good budget, a better budget anyway. And even single family homes in San Juan Capistrano are gonna have HOA. It's kind of the thing in Orange County. So whatever your mortgage is, add about 300 bucks on for the HOA. The good thing is though, unlike a lot of uh, Orange County neighborhoods, you can get a three bed home, a nice three bed home for under a million dollars. Now, you go to Laguna Beach, Dana Point, Newport Beach, even Huntington Beach, to be fair, you're not getting much for under a million. In San Juan Capistrano, you can. That's a huge plus. But if you're like, Matt, I'm coming from Texas, Florida. I'm used to big homes. I can't live in a 1,400 square foot home. Who do you think I am? I need at least 2,000 square foot. Well, you're gonna need a budget of about 1.2 to 1.5 million. Now, if you want the 3,000 plus mega homes, maybe that's not a mega home where you're from, but in Los Angeles, to be honest, over 3,000 square foot is huge. You're gonna need north of $2 million, uh, and the closer you can get to $3 million, the better. And if you want a 4,000 square foot home, they have them here, even 5,000 plus, you're gonna need three, four, five million dollars. Look at these views, by the way. Look at that. Imagine living on this street and that's your, your view. Yes, obviously three, four million dollars is a lot of money, but if you're getting a three, four, five thousand square foot home in Orange County, that's unbelievable. Go 40 minutes north to Newport Beach. You're gonna be paying double that. Go up into LA, you're gonna be paying eight to 15 million dollars for the same house. This really reminds me, to be honest, of like little Holmby in um, Westwood similar size homes, estate homes, beautiful wide streets. Those homes start at around 8 million, all the way up to 50, 60, 100 million dollars. Here, you're getting them for three, four, five million dollars, and they're absolutely beautiful. So if you're looking for an, an estate home, you're, living to, uh, you're willing to live in the southern part of Orange County with beautiful views, check out this neighborhood. You're not gonna be disappointed. Also, if your budget's only around 1.25 million, uh, but you want half an acre of land, or at least a third of an acre of land, you can do that in San Juan Capistrano. Most of Orange County, most of LA, zero chance. Here, you can. That's a plus. And obviously in neighborhoods like this, beautiful large homes, you've got good schools. If you're moving here with a young family, you want them to go to good public schools, you're covered here. Some of the best uh, public schools in California, to be honest. And crime as well. Look at the crime stats here. It's well below the national average. San Juan Capistrano, to be honest, if crime is on your radar, you want to live in a neighborhood with low homeless, low crime rates, check out this neighborhood. It's one of the lowest I've seen. Once again, I'm walking up a hill and it's reminding me I need to go to the gym. What am I doing? On the other hand, look at this beautiful gated house. <laughs> I bet the owner of that in his 40s was probably going to the gym. And the weather. I know everyone always talks about the weather in Southern California. It's pretty boring, to be honest. But it is the middle of September and it is 85 degrees. We're by the ocean, so there's a bit of a breeze. I've been walking around for a while. I don't feel sweaty. Maybe I am. <laughs> Look at this palace over here. This house up in LA would cost you 12 million bucks. Here, three, three and a half. You gotta check it out, I'm telling you. It's such a peaceful and tranquil neighborhood. And for, to be honest, that's whether you're living in the $800,000 neighborhoods or the $4 million neighborhoods. Wide streets, what do I always say? Wide streets make me think family-friendly communities. And just walking up and down here, if you lived here, every morning I'd be like, you know what, I've made it. It's absolutely spectacular. Look at the palm trees, look at the view. I can't talk highly enough, to be honest. And what I love about this neighborhood, San Juan Capistrano, it has a nice downtown. It has bars and restaurants that aren't falling apart, that are trendy, good chefs. It has a cinema. So whether you have three-year-old kids or 13-year-old kids looking for something to do, they're gonna find it. Some parts of the OC, if you've got teenagers, I'm like, good luck. They're gonna be bored out of their mind. This neighborhood, not at all.
I don't know if you watched my video on Fullerton, which is also in Orange County. Fullerton also has a great downtown and large homes around two to three million dollars. Really nice neighborhood, really nice homes. If you ask me, San Juan Capistrano, it's like a fancy version of Fullerton. Everything's just a little bit nicer. The streets, the homes, the town center, the restaurants, the bars. So if you like Fullerton, check out San Juan Capistrano. If San Juan Capistrano is a little too expensive for you, check out Fullerton. Another thing I like about this Orange County neighborhood, a lot of neighborhoods in Orange County, the homes all kind of look the same. Cookie cutter, um, there's just nothing imaginative about them. Built in the 70s and 80s, they're a little bit bland. What I like about San Juan Capistrano, no matter what type of architectural vibe you like, it has. Obviously the Spanish, bungalow, Victorian, um, so yeah, no matter what you want, it has it. And, and I really like that. Diversity in, um, in anything really is a good thing. And yes, people might say San Juan uh, Capistrano is a little secluded, but if you want to go wine tasting, Temecula is about an hour away. Obviously San Diego, Mexico, not that far. So there are things to do. You've got the beaches and the rest of Orange County as well, because you've got the freeways pretty close to you. So it's kind of great. If you travel a lot for work, you've got John Wayne Airport, only about 30 minutes away. Pretty much travels to everywhere within America and also internationally as well. LAX is further, it's about 65 miles, which could be 90 minutes to two hours, depending on when you're going. Uh, but yeah, LAX, LAX Airport, a little journey, um, but John Wayne Airport, right there for you. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke of local realtor. And if you are looking to make a move to Orange County or LA County, give me a call, shoot me a text. I hate people all the time relocating into California and I hope to help you too. Hope to hear from you.